Did you know there is a dog breed that once killed a lion before? Welcome back to Flicky Facts. Get ready to dive into the world of the top 10 most dangerous dog breeds in the world. But before we jumped in the dive back, we love to know your guesses. Which dog breed do you think tops in our list? These breeds are known to be especially aggressive and dangerous, so be sure to keep them out of your home if you can. Number 10. Pit Bulls Pit Bull known for their muscular bodies and strong jaws, these dogs have gained a notorious reputation. They can make loyal and affectionate pets. But in the wrong circumstances without the right training and socialization, they could pose a risk. According to the aforementioned study, the pit bull was responsible for 284 deaths over a period of 13 years. This is about two-thirds of all fatal dog bites in the United States. Number 9. Rottweilers Rottweiler known for their loyalty. These dogs can be healthy even if they grow to be at least 25 inches tall and 120 pounds or more. They are often used as guard dogs, but beware with their powerful jaws, they can pose a significant threat if provoked. In particular, the dog will become very friendly and protective of the people who live in its home, but it won't do the same for guests. During the same period as the pit bull, the Rottweiler killed 45 people, 10% of all US deaths. Rottweilers use their powerful bite well. Did you know Rottweilers are also known as butcher's dogs because they used to herd livestock and pull carts? Number 8. German Shepherds On number 8 we have the versatile German Shepherd. German Shepherds are working dogs that have been put to use in militaries and police forces in recent decades. Due to their intelligent, powerful, and dangerous dogs that can inflict deadly attacks on people, weighing about 90 pounds and standing over 2 feet tall, the German Shepherd breed is perfect at curtailing human threats. Unfortunately, German Shepherds are some of the most aggressive and territorial dog types. They were responsible for 20 deaths, about 5% of all dog bite deaths, and numerous non-fatal biting incidents. The only silver lining in this case is that this breed is highly trainable. Number 7. Doberman Pinschers these dogs are fearless fast and possess a strong bite combined with their protective instinct. This breed can be very dangerous when threatened. The Doberman breed was originally created in the late 19th century by a German tax collector named Louis Doberman, who wanted a medium-sized guard dog to accompany him during his work, weighing about 60 to 100 pounds and standing over 24 to 28 inches. Statistics shows that a total of 23 attacks since 1982 including 12 child victims, 8 deaths, and 12 maimings. Dobermans have a bite force of about 230 pounds per square inch. Number 6. Wolf Hybrids These are not your typical domestic dogs, they are a crossbreed between a dog and the wolf. These hybrids, of course, come with their own set of specific needs. Wolf hybrids can vary widely in terms of appearance, behavior, and temperament due to the combination of their domestic and wild ancestry. First of all, they get big like anywhere from 26 to 34 inches high and ranging between 60 and 120 pounds. Wolf dog hybrids can exert the same amount of force in their bites as a wolf can, which is around 406 pounds per square inch. We reach half on our countdown. What you think which breed killed a lion? Tell us in the comment section below. Number 5. Boxers Surprisingly on number 5 we have boxers on this list. Boxers are interesting dogs because they are simultaneously incredibly dopey in terms of their looks, but they were bred to be working dogs. These dogs have a lot of energy and they can weigh up to 80 pounds of muscle. Their size, strength, and protective nature can make them a threat when they feel their family is in danger. Weighing about 27 to 32 kilograms and standing over 57 to 63 centimeters. Boxers only caused seven deaths in recent years, but they have a propensity for non-fatal bites as well. Like other dangerous breeds, you should only get this breed if you know how to handle and train a dog. Number 4. Alaskan Malamutes Alaskan Malamute, a dog that is strikingly similar to the Siberian Husky. The main difference is that the Alaskan Malamute is much larger than their wolf life counterparts. These dogs can weigh almost 90 pounds and stand 26 inches tall, so they are quite large and powerful. 
Alaskan Malamute large, powerful, and built for stamina Alaskan Malamute were bred to pull heavy sleds in harsh conditions, however their high energy levels and strong-willed nature require an experienced owner to prevent potential dangers. Although they are responsible for four deaths, the Alaskan Malamute is still on the list of dangerous dogs because of their powerful bite and willingness to use it against others. Number 3. Siberian Huskies Siberian Huskies are valued for their wolf-like looks. You shouldn't be too surprised to find out that dogs sharing looks with wild animals behave a little like them. Huskies were used as sled dogs in the coldest reaches of Canada and the United States. Although they weigh only 60 pounds, they're strong for their size and very independent animals. These dogs are highly motivated by catching prey. Most animals that are smaller than them, including humans, can look like prey to them. In this case, it's their instincts for survival that get them in the most trouble. Huskies were responsible for 3% of all fatal attacks in the study we've cited. Although these animals are friendly most of the time, they have been known to attack children and adults that challenge them even with no history of aggression. Number 2. American Bulldog Unlike their British counterparts, the American Bulldog is still a powerful working animal that has not been overbred to uselessness. Standing just shy of 30 inches high, these dogs can pack on muscle and weigh over 100 pounds. They're thick, strong dogs that are very dangerous when they attack. During the 13-year study, American Bulldogs were responsible for 15 deaths, about 3.5% of all fatal attacks. Although that is not a large number, it's significant when one considers that this breed is rarely mentioned alongside some of the other dangerous dogs. Make no mistake, this breed has a powerful bite and the ability to jump high enough and hard enough to knock an adult flat on their back. Number 1. Bull Mastiff Devoted, alert, and fearless are all terms that apply to the Bull Mastiff breed, and that is why people value them as pets. They'll protect your home and yard, but they might not enjoy the presence of outsiders, and that behavior has to be curbed at a young age to prevent attacks. Although attacks by bull mastiffs are relatively infrequent, the fact is that these dogs are so large that when they do attack a person or another animal, the damage is severe. They can reach 130 pounds and stand 27 inches tall or more. These dogs were responsible for 3.2% of all fatal attacks that occurred over the 13 years of the study, representing just 14 deaths. However, when you consider the relative rarity of the animal in the US, it's a sign that the dog is dangerous. So guys, that's it for today's video. Tell us in the comment section what you think about these dog breeds and which one you like the most. Please hit the like button and subscribe us for more videos. Thank you.